Hello Gemini, what's going on? Hope you're doing very, very well. My name is Diane and this is Madam Butterfly Tarot. And we're gonna do a general reading for August, but you know, it's timeless. All of my readings are timeless. So whenever you happen to find this is when you were meant to see it. You are very, very welcome here, Gemini. Thank you for being here with me. I appreciate it very much. And if you feel called to like and subscribe for me at all, I would appreciate that very much as well. So I see the chariot at the bottom of the deck here. So there's something about like movement forward, like it's time to move forward. What's going on for Gemini? Ooh, hello. Lady Portia. Um, overcoming limitations, karmic release, let go of the need to be right. Dum dum dum. <laughs> okay, so you're overcoming some kind of limitation or you're overcoming limitations. You've also been releasing a lot of stuff from your past, releasing a lot of old karmic situations even things from a past life maybe. Should I take both of them? Okay. You have Mary Magdalene, sacred vessel. You are the answer. Be guided to your purpose. And then you have Commander Ashtar, leadership activation. This is the Kyle Gray Divine Masters deck, if you're interested. Uh, leadership activation, time to evolve. Trust in your ability to guide others. So, Kind of looking like this is what you're being prepared for here, Gems. Um, you are the sacred vessel through which some kind of leadership is going to flow, okay? Um, you may have had to release a lot of stuff, like limitations about how you, I don't know, limitations about stepping into leadership roles. Um, This is your purpose though. You have a purpose as a leader in some way. Wow. Let's get one more. What else for Gemini? Lady Nada, expanded heart. So your heart chakra has been going through an expansion as well. Um, this is a very pink card, so I suspect you're moving into like m much more of your higher heart chakra because the lower heart chakra, the green one, it deals with like, you know, human emotions like grief and uh, anger and, you know, feeling betrayed and sadness and loneliness and all this kind of thing. So a lot of that has been cleansed out. It's being cleansed out. So you may have been going through it at the moment, Gemini. <laughs> you may have been going through like a big cleansing of all this stuff to be removed because your heart chakra is expanding. Openness, liberation, let yourself love and be loved. So you're also being prepared for love to come in, some kind of unconditional love. Because when the heart chakra is a little blocked, um, it makes you feel like you're not worthy of unconditional love. You have the star here. So there's some healing that's happening for you at the moment. I want to get one of these on either side. I'm going to reshuffle that. Um, this is the Work Your Light deck by Rebecca Campbell. What I also got recently and is also new. So, What else for Gemini? Unbound, wow. Releasing soul patterns, contracts and past lives. So that's come out next to Karmic Release overcoming limitations. So you are freeing yourself from things that, from a lot of things, you're actually clearing a lot of stuff out of your energy, Gemini. So be patient with yourself at this time. So this could even be stuff from past lives, you know, um, like you're supposed to be some kind of leader in this life. So maybe you're cleansing things out that happened in past lives. Like say for example, you know, say you lived in the medieval period in a past life and you spoke out against the feudal Lord and you were punished for it because they had some pretty severe punishments back in the day. You know, 
you may have carried that into like various lifetimes after that and associated speaking out with like pain or suffering. So you're releasing that. Um, it could even be like, you know, contracts with people. There could be something to do with three women in particular. Um, there could be like contracts that you've had in this lifetime, karmic contracts with people from past lives that you had to complete the contract with, that you've freed yourself from. Um, soul lessons, because lessons are repeated ad nauseum in every lifetime, basically until the lesson is learned. So you've, re you've done really well. You've really released like you know, you've learned a lot of your lessons and you're ready to step into this leadership role. So everything from the past that was kind of holding you back is being released and you have, you're already doing it. So this is something that you're, you're already doing it, basically. Stop overthinking, keep facing your true north. You see how she's on the path? I mean, you might not be exactly where, you know, at the final destination yet, but you're on the right path. It's like, just keep doing what you're doing. Just keep going because you're exactly where you need to be. Anything else for Gemini? No. Right, let's go into the tarot. Whoa, hello. <laughs> okay, so you have the Eight of Pentacles here. The Eight of Pentacles talks about something that you are very, very good at. There is something, some kind of skill, whether you have realized it or not, that you are very, very good at, or possibly multiple skills. And the reason that you're good at that is because you've brought them in from past lives. So you're unlocking memories from like Akashic Records because um, that's what the Akashic Records are. They hold all the information, also known as the ether. Um, Akashic means ether in Sanskrit. So you're, you're just able to tap into like all the information that you used to have in past lives. So that could be healing, it could be teaching. You may have been a leader in a past life. Oh, I'm hearing yes. <laughs> um, And that's, all, that's a leader, look at that. You know, that's someone that's very able to cope with a lot of different things going on at once, um, leading a team. The tower. Okay, so you may have been going through a tower or like a sequence of towers. And the reason that that was done I, don't, I, I can't think of a kinder way to say it, okay? But it's almost like it's done to break you down so that, you know, because we tend to repress, right? Things that we don't want to remember, <clears throat> excuse me, things that we don't want to remember from the past, we repress it, right? We don't think about it because you have to get through day-to-day -day life. However, it's always still there, buried, you know, until you deal with it, it's still there you know, in your energy field. So there could have been like a sequence of towers that they sent you that kind of made you cry or, you know, broke you down. So these like emotions could come out and be healed in that way. You have the five of swords. The three of cups. Okay, there's something here. You know, the three of cups talks about working with other people. So leadership can take many forms, you know. Um, you could be leading a huge platform. You could be writing a book. You could be leading people like in the way that you're gonna start a business and you're gonna do one-to-one -one sessions. You could teach a class, um, evening class, or you could teach children. You know, it can be many, many things. You could be leading a team of people, something like this. You could be working by yourself, but doing, working on some kind of, design on something that will change the world, something like this, that would also be leadership, but it does involve you 
you know, presenting your work to other people or working with other people or being in charge of a team, something like that. The Nine of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. Oh my God, money. <laughs> um, that's what that is. So the Queen of Pentacles is someone, male or female, that owns their own business, as is the Nine of Pentacles. So if you have been thinking of taking that leap and owning your own business, this is your sign. Like you're meant to do that. In this lifetime, you are meant to have a lot of money. Um, you're meant to own your own business here with the Nine of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. And I feel like it might be something more natural that you're doing. You know, it could be like environmental work that you do, or it's like natural, something natural like spiritual spirituality or herbalism or arts and crafts, you know, something like this is, is maybe how you're going to make money. You may feel like people don't listen or There's something here about like you have, it's like people give you a headache or people that you've been around in the past have given you a headache or something like that. Let me come back to that one. The nine of wands. Okay. Spirit wants to talk about it now. <laughs> so you have had difficult relationships with people in the past with the nine of wands here. You've had difficult relationships in the past that have caused you a headache. Maybe you feel like people don't listen or people are chaotic or people always make the wrong choice or something and you're just like, oh my God, like these people don't, like they give me a headache, <laughs> you know? So that could have been something that you've been working through regarding people and I see three women here and I see three women there so for someone watching there's some kind of issue with three women or maybe you had you know I don't know that could be your family or you know if you date women maybe there's been like three particular women that have just been awful that you've dealt with or something you have the four of wands here you're about to come into like a lot of financial stability right right here. And this purpose that you're doing, you find this the financial stability is very tied into your purpose. You know, you're already doing it. If you've been really worrying about um the way forward or you're not doing enough or something like this they're saying like don't stop obviously but you're actually where you're exactly where you need to be so now is a time for celebration because you've the four of wands is a huge celebration because it's a milestone like you've hit some kind of huge milestone and you have a relationship coming in here in the future with the four of wands like a very stable relationship where you're going to be like, I don't know, living with someone, married, um, you know, commitment here. Yeah, the sun. You're good. You're absolutely fine. You do have a lot of uh, like financial sp stability and money coming in here. There's some stuff from the past that's being healed though, that you've released a lot of. Tell me about this uh, Eight of Pentacles. The Eight of Cups. Ooh, hello. Hello. <laughs> um, you have the Terror with the Knight of Cups here. Oh, hello. So there's someone coming in here. Okay, there's a couple of things. 
you're definitely, it's like you've been, um, like opened up, you know? I want to say that maybe they've put you through a series of towers and it's kind of opened you up like emotionally, not that you were closed off emotionally before, but it's, it's opened you up so that you're more willing to show people the real you or something like that. But there's also love coming in here with this Knight of Cups here. So the Eight of Pentacles with the Eight of Cups. That's interesting. You've walked away from things. Like, the Eight of Cups talks about walking away from things that don't serve you. You know, things that are not um, making you happy. Like, you're putting in all the effort and you're just not getting out of it what you need. And that can be in terms of a job or, you know, people. You have the Three of Cups with the Seven of Wands, the Queen of Pentacles with the Star. Definitely a partnership here. You see the Nine of Pentacles with the Two of Cups. So you've been happily, I wanna say you've been happily single for quite a while, just kind of doing your thing. Um, but there's a partnership coming in here, okay? And this partner that's coming in, they're gonna let you be free. So they're gonna give you what you need, like, cause you're a Gemini, right? You need to be free. <laughs> you need like that space. So they're gonna give you that, but you're also gonna be in a very happy, committed relationship with this person. So you're gonna have absolutely everything that you need. You're gonna be noticed for something that you're doing. I think you've been learning to protect your energy, you know, that not everybody can have access to your energy. Uh, solar plexus chakra has definitely been activated. A lot of people are about to, or if this, hasn't, if this hasn't happened yet, a lot of people are about to want your energy. So you may have been learning like, no, not everybody gets access. But you're about to really stand out for something that you're doing in your job like some kind of leadership that you're doing. Oh, wow, look, oh my God, there's children here. Look, you have the Four of Wands and the Empress um, with the Six of Cups. Oh, so you have, like, only take that if it applies, okay? That's not gonna be for everyone, but for those of you who would like that or if that's, you know, if that's, a possibility for you. There's definitely children here in your future. And I think this will make you very happy because this could have been something that you asked for. Um, very happy family. There could be some dogs in your future as well. <laughs> um, but yeah, with the four of wands and the empress, a lot of financial stability, th the inflow of abundance coming into you very easily. You're about to be very happy. Your future is very, very bright and very happy. Lots of money, stability, really loving what it is you do. Being in a relationship with someone that makes you like, they're your soulmate, they complete you, but you have your freedom, you know? And like, yeah, definitely babies here. At least one, possibly a little boy. Um, okay, let's see. Let's see here. What are we going to clarify with? I want to see what this Eight of Pentacles is. <clears throat> Tell me about this Eight of Pentacles.
Distant Horizons. Judication. Okay, you've definitely made a decision here to walk away from things that weren't serving you, like these, you know, patterns from your past, but definitely soul contracts with people that have been completed, past lives, past life situations. A lot of you are meant to work online because I see distant horizons here with the Eight of Pentacles, like you, you're meant to do something online. Um, Unexpected income. Community, yeah, so a lot of you can expect to make money from doing something online and you have official person here. So you're like meant to have some kind of, you know, official job or like official status or like where people are seeing what you're doing, you know, or your work is like recognized or you're in charge of a team or you have people answering to you. Um, or you have a lot of viewers, something like that. Tell me about this Knight of Cups. Oh, this is the person that's coming in. Okay. So this person that's coming in is also someone like official. Okay. So you guys might have like a similar job or they're in a similar field, but they're, yeah, they're also official. Very sweet though. You may have walked away from someone else to, to choose this person, you know, because the universe hates a void. So if you walk away from someone that's like not serving, you know, because the thing is with this person that you walked away from, if there was someone, you tried, Jim. <laughs> I can see it here in the cards. It's like you tried. But the Eight of Cups is someone that can't give you what you need emotionally, you know, much as they might try. This person, so this new person then, whether you've met them or not, they're going to come in quite fast with the tower. I don't even think you're looking because <laughs> she's got her back to it. So you're not even really looking when this person comes in because you're busy. You're doing your work and you're doing all your shadow work and you're releasing all this stuff and then suddenly this person appears as if by magic, springing out of the snow like a daisy. <laughs> um, this person's been thinking about you. You're kind of suspicious of them though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're suspicious of them because you've been through a lot of shit. Um, you have child here. So this person could very well be looking at you and being like, damn, you would be a good mother or you would be a good dad. Um, or they're thinking, you know, if that's not relevant to you, they're thinking about like this new beginning with you. Um, and you have courtship here. So this is someone that you will be dating. Um, I think a lot of people want your attention, you know, but you're going to be like, no, I only want this person because um, they're a wish fulfillment. You have the star here. So this person's a total wish fulfillment. Tell me about this five of swords. I just feel like maybe you've dealt with irresponsible people or something like that in the past. There's been people around that have like given you a headache and you're just like, ugh. Just, just fuck off then. <laughs> I don't know. You have great fortune here. Someone had to leave or people had to leave so that you could have this money or this luck that's coming in for you, okay? I think you really had to learn to protect your energy because you have, th this is the thing, you have, Whatever this leadership thing is you're doing, the thing is you're getting at the leadership position because you're good at something because it's it's stuff that you've unlocked from past lives. So you're getting this because you've done the, the spiritual work, but it also comes with a lot of money or attention or luck, something like this. So I think you've kind of had to, you, the spirit just wanted to make sure that you had the right people in your life bef before this came in for you, you know? 
Tell me about this Queen of Pentacles. Oh, okay. Gift. You have some kind of gift that you're meant to make money from. I think you also have a gift for making money. I'm not sure if you're aware of that yet, but I think you'd be very skilled at owning your own business or there may be a particular, like some of you make things for a living. There's something that like I see you making them and posting it out, you know, something that you're very good at. Could also be chakra work. Maybe some of you guys like do it working with the chakras. Uh, there's some kind of gift that you have that's very healing. Mediumship, possibly. I know there's at least one Gemini that watches my channel that's a medium. You know, hint, hint. <laughs> um, that, you know, you can maybe be, you know, working as, I don't know, uh, it could be something like that, but um, yes. You are definitely, there's like a family here for you, Gemini, if that's something that you're interested in. So to close the reading, because I'm going to do an extended reading, but um, I'm going to close this reading soon. New love, so you have someone new coming towards you. So releasing a past love. Well, there you go. So you're releasing a past love so someone new can come in. I'm just going to get a little couple of these advice cards to close the reading. And then in the extended reading, we're going to unpack it a little bit more. Okay, whoa. Wow, that came out so fast. Stop being so hard on yourself. That's come out next to the Six of Cups. So you have a tendency to be hard on yourself. I want to say because of stuff you've learned in childhood for some of you, like, you know, maybe your parents were very strict or they always told you you weren't doing enough or... It could be a past relationship that you had, you know, maybe you were married to someone and they're always like, oh my God, you're so lazy or something. No. Spirit saying no. And also I feel like Geminis have a reputation for being lazy for some reason. I don't know why, but they're saying no. Please stop being hard on yourself. Rest more. You know, stop thinking that you're behind or whatever. Yeah, look, protect your energy. I feel strongly this is something that you've been learning to do because that's what the solar plexus chakra is all about. You know, um, it's hard to put it into words sometimes, but it's almost like a shield because it gives you a strong sense of self when your solar plexus chakra is balanced. You know, you believe in your own, you have a lot of faith in your own decisions. You're confident, you're motivated to do things for yourself that make your own life better. You have a lot of willpower. You don't, because you have such a strong conviction in yourself, you're less able to be manipulated by other people, you know? So I just see you being very much like, no, nope because a lot of people are gonna want your attention now, Gems. I don't know if that's some people from your past. Yes, it is. Some people from your past are gonna want your energy um, and pro probably money, if you're coming into money, okay? So you've been learning to protect your energy. Meeting someone new. Oh, let's put them here. So there they go. So you had to walk away from someone from your past so this new person can come in. This person's been thinking about you. You're doing much better than you think. And I wanna put this like over here next to you're already doing it. So I think, you can, I think you're very hard on yourself. Like maybe you push yourself a lot and you're, you know, you're very like big on self-improvement and stuff and that's awesome, but Spirit is saying like, seriously, you're, you're good. <laughs> like, please don't be so hard on yourself. Um, you have Reiki practitioner here as well. So some of you might end up getting into Reiki. Anything else for Gemini? Let me get one more. Stop feeling guilty. Oh my God, what are you feeling guilty about? So this could be something that you just generally carry with you, like feeling guilty. And again, I want to put it over here by the Six of Cups. So this could be something that you learned in childhood. 
you know, maybe had, like I said, strict parents or something, and they're always like, you're so selfish. You're a selfish child, trying to play and stuff. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's what children do. Oh, you selfish child, trying to play and be a child, oh my god. Um, so you could have picked out from your childhood, but there's something here, like you're very hard on yourself. I think you feel guilty a lot of the time. So that's something that you're unlearning. Yeah, basically the chat here is you're doing really, really well. So stop being hard on yourself. Stop being guilty and just uh, let yourself be happy. You're about to start leading a large team or a large group. And that's like what you're meant to do, but I feel like it's in more of a nurturing way. You know, you have a very soothing energy, whether you're aware of this or not, you have a very calming energy that kind of draws people in, like very nurturing, very soothing. Okay, I'm gonna go into the extended reading and we're gonna talk about this new person that's gonna come in who may already be in your life for some of you. So we'll pull some characteristics cards about them and uh, some like fluffy romantic cards to see what else Spirit wants you to know and see if we can like find out anything about them. We're gonna talk about your job here and this leadership thing, like see if Spirit wants to tell you anything else about it. But honestly, I kind of feel like you're, it's just gonna unfold for you. Like if you keep listening to your intuition, cause you're already on the right path, you know, but we'll pull some cards just to see, you know, to see what comes out. Um, yeah, so that's gonna be the extended reading. So the extended is only for channel members and all the information for that is below. You can find all the information for watching the extended below. So if I see you over there, awesome, but if not, Thank you very much for what, well, either way, thank you for watching. I appreciate it a lot. Don't forget to like and subscribe for me if you feel like doing that. I'd appreciate that a lot as well. And as always, I wish you many, many blessings. Love and light. Take care.